So the sample variance of a set of endpoints is defined by this formula right here, where we sum from 1 to n of each point minus the sample mean, and divide by n minus 1. And we're asked to show that this following formula holds, that the sample variance is also equal to the sum of the squares of the observations, minus 1 over n times the square of all the observations summed, n divided by n minus 1. So since the denominators are the same, we can just prove that the numerators are equal, and that'll be enough to show it. So let's just start by expanding the numerator of uh, the definition of the standard uh, uh, sample variance. So this is the sum from i equals 1 to n of, well, here we have observation xi squared minus 2 times uh, xi times the sample mean plus sample mean squared. All right, and this is equal to, well, this is just a sum, so we can uh, distribute it over each term. So the sum from i equals 1 to n of well, xi squared minus uh, sum from i equals 1 to n of 2. I'll pull the 2 out. I'm left with xi. Um, and the sample mean is also just a constant, so I can actually pull out 2 times the sample mean. So we'll write this as 2 times the sample mean sum of the xi's. And finally, we'll add the sum of uh, sample mean squared Okay, now let's remember the definition of uh, what the sample mean is. So the sample mean is defined to be a sample mean of endpoints is just what you normally think of as the average. So this is the sum from i equals 1 to n of all the observations, and we just divide by the number of observations, so multiply by 1 over n. So let's go ahead and substitute that, um, the definition of the sample mean uh, into our formula. And we get, uh, well, the first term just stays the same. Second term is now uh, 2 times, uh, or 2 over n, times the sum of the observations. And that whole sum multiplied by the sum of uh, the observations again. And of course, we add um, the sum of so sum from i equals one to n to n of um, the sum of one over n times the sum from i equals one over n of the observations, um, and we square this. I'll put throw in some extra brackets just to make this clear, but we're you know, taking the standard or sample mean, squaring it, or something that over n times. So here again, this term just stays the same. We got i equals one to n of xi uh, squared. And again, just make this clear: we're summing the squares of the observations, not squaring the sum. This is minus. Uh, 2 over n. And here we have the um, sum of the observations times the sum of the observations. So this is the sum of the observations squared, which leaves us with this last term. Now, uh, so we're looking at the sum from i equals 1 to n of this term, which, if you recall, is just. Um, Uh, which is, uh, excuse me, just the sample mean squared. So this is actually just equal to 1 over n times uh, some of the observations. They're just squared, so just the sample mean squared. There's nothing really um, to sum over. So this is just 1 over n times the sum of the observations squared. 
All right, now let's simplify this one more time and we'll see that we get the numerator of the formula that we were looking for. So bring this over over here we get uh, well, the sum of the observation squared minus uh, here we have 2 over n plus 1 over n of the square of the sum of the observations so that's just minus 1 over n times the sum of the observations squared or square of the sum of the observations. So we started out with the numerator of the definition of sample variance uh, and just played, expanded that, played around with it a little bit and found out that we, it's equal to this, which is precisely the um, formula that we were looking for. So all we have to do is divide this by n minus 1 and we've shown that sample variance is actually equal to this formula that we were given.